This is Trans Africa Radio. Alrighty, the time right now is 10 to 7 p.m. That is Central African time. And Fifi Cooper is in studio, so we can definitely get this show on mm-hmm. the road. Good evening, Fifi. Yeah, how are you? I'm well, how are you? I'm standing. Good show. Wow, I'm so thrown off. <laughs> <laughs> really, really, really. Uh, okay. I know. Alrighty, how, how's your weekend been? Um, it's been great. I'm really excited today. We're actually celebrating the fact that I'm going to Nigeria next week for oh, the first time. Exciting stuff. So, we're just celebrating and I'm happy that I'm here because it's part of the celebration you know oh, mm-hmm. yeah and 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 how how's how's things how things been going uh mm, I'm things sure it's, a, uh, it's a lot it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot okay. a lot of things have been happening and i'm really excited and i'm happy that god is on my side and everything that's happening you know he's leading me and guiding me but i'm happy that things are going the way that i want them to go mm-hmm. Before I was at the record label And it was like What they say goes But now I'm happy because What I say goes mm, So where are you? <laughs> right now I'm at a point Where I opened a record label Called Mo Cooper Records okay. And that's where I push Fifi Cooper The brand mm-hmm. Cause they're trying to Block me everywhere <laughs> But they can't Cause I'm going to Nigeria mm. So they have to Think about that <laughs> It's a lie <laughs> Wait so let's talk about Nigeria What are you gonna go do in Nigeria? What's um, there's, a, there's a big show Called The Weekend Takeover Mm-hmm. Um, there's big artists Botek, No, Tiwa Savage mm-hmm. You know, the people that we know Mokhae And the people that we've been featuring And it's always a, been a dream for me mm-hmm. To have like an international feature mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It has always been a goal So now that it's happening It's a lot And the fact that I'm going I'm really excited And I'm happy about it I want Fifi Nation to know that My music is I understand that in South Africa we have 11 official languages, uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. I rap in Swana, so I understand that not everybody understands what I rap about. Yeah. And that's not the case because music is an international language. Mm-hmm. Whatever you say, as long as, trust me, like I've had, like I've listened to techno, mm-hmm. baby, banana. Mm-hmm. I love it But I don't know What he's saying But because It's music It's musical I love it Mm. And that's what I'm looking at right now I just want to have International features Because it has been Part of my plans The whole time Mm. But now that I'm Independent I have my own Record label um, I can spread my wings And fly And what has the new The new journey been like You're on your own The new journey Is really amazing Because more Cooper Records More MO Stands for Mokiti My surname So it's a family thing you know I know that South Africa knows that I don't have money to hire people that will work for me so right now it's just like a family thing these are the people that I've had since day one Mm -hmm. you understand so it's like we just trying to uh, accomplish things that we've had before all the ideas that we had before we have a UK tour coming up in May we have Nigeria next week so these are really cool things because me I know that I can't I can't please everybody I'm Mutsoko's first lady I'm not South Africa's best female rapper I don't I know that I am but like I don't want to make it obvious because but no one wants to be Kotel you understand so for now I just want to represent South Africa in a good way and I know that uh, a lot of people in our country are not happy with my music because basically they don't understand what I'm saying. But it's okay. Yeah. When I started rapping, I knew that not everyone is going to be happy. Yeah, but I mean, if you think of Mutsako as a brand with the double HP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Momulim, so I think... I, but with me, it's different because mm-hmm. I'm a female rapper. Oh, First so of all, when you're a female rapper, you have to get naked. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me, yeah. my swag is different. People have been saying I'm lesbian, what, what, what. Yeah, I don't yeah, care yeah, because yeah. they don't know this. Aliyah did this and nobody said anything because she's a Leah mm-hmm. you know I'm putting the swag on now people aren't following unless maybe ASAP Rocky or Nicki Minaj Aipula then people are gonna say ah she's cool you understand but it's okay mm-hmm. I, I, I knew it when I started rapping I knew that I'm different and I want to be original people have to love me for who I am so if you always, don't you've always been a tomboy yeah no 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 not okay. a tomboy per okay. se I have two brothers mm-hmm. okay. what I want so I understand the fact that um, I grew up um, around boys okay. So I always felt like the swag is so cool And the clothes are cheap 
<laughs> I get a killer hustle, Lara. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> um, I was at a record label that was not paying me, but I was looking swaggy the whole time mm-hmm. because of my swag. And I, I'm comfortable mm-hmm. being this way, and I love it. I don't care what anybody says. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be naked because the thing is, when you go on stage naked, people are going to remember your ass. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, I want people to remember my music. That's the most important thing. That's why I'm here. And I think about these things. I dream about them all the time. And I just want to be me. I know that not everybody's going to love me. But I will have loyal fans. The people that will love me for who I am. 100%. And, and I mean, leaving Ambitious Records, does that mean that you basically cut out all the middlemen? Is that yeah. Right? And, yeah. And, and you, you are seeing your money? Is yeah. That, yeah. That was the whole point? That's Andy Tutu. It's a bagel. And the SMS. You don't understand. It's a lot. You know? Um, and I'm really happy. Like, I'm so happy. I'm at a point where I can send my son money mm-hmm. for this toxic. You see, little daughter is the bad lang right now. Okay, you understand. Yeah. So that makes me happy. Mm. Me, music is not about money. It has never been about money. I've been rapping for eleven years, okay. and I was not getting paid for eleven years. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm not even thinking about getting paid. Okay, but now it's different because I have a son. I just want to take care of him. Where did you have a son, Fifi? Um, I don't know. He's don't three. Know. No, the <laughs> thing is, Nake, I got blood to show me. When I was fasting, I got to be <laughs> my thing is um, My son is three years old now okay. And that's all I know Because the whole time I'm thinking about You know Making sure that he has the best life That I've never had Because mm-hmm. my dad passed away a long time ago Okay. You know I was raised by a single mother She was doing everything for us And it broke my heart Because sometimes there were days where She couldn't And it broke her heart Because she wants us to be happy. 100%. Yeah. You understand? So um, I was at a point where I was like, you know what? I'm old enough. She took me to school. At least can I limit the Riki. Mm-hmm. Now it's my chance to go out there, do my thing, mm. so that I can also take care of my family. Mm. My dad passed away. So it's a lot. My brother is also hustling. Everybody in the family is hustling. And me, the thing is, God will never give you talent not knowing why mm-hmm. he has plans for me i know everything is just falling into place everything is just going accordingly i don't even have to pray about it it's just happening it's meant to be like this mm-hmm. there's one thing that paul tusi said actually and it will always be in my mind even even when i go outside south africa internationally i will always say this there will always be somebody prettier than you. There will always be somebody talented than you. But God will choose you mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because he knows what he's doing. Mm. Nobody else knows. The thing is, when I started this movement, the Amor Cooper, people were laughing on some, ah, what is she doing? Because Ambitious had the guap mm-hmm. to put everybody on. I don't have the guap. Mm-hmm. And people are laughing on some, ah, what is she trying to do? But I know that I don't know what I'm doing, but God is leading me. That's why everything is just falling into place. Mm-hmm. Like, hello. Mm-hmm. And I mean, you probably had to then go through that experience. Yeah. And become brave For enough. me, yes. Mm. I mean, like nobody had the courage to leave record labels. It only happened after I left. Ricky Rick left. Mabala. Uh, Gemini Major left. Family Tree. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the thing is, it's very difficult when you're in a record label. You are hungry. They are not hungry. They just want money. Mm. So they will never think about how you feel. So it's very scary. And I feel sad for other artists that are left in the record label because we used to talk about this and they know exactly what's happening, but they don't have the courage. Because Josie, next thing over Makaya. Outside now, when you when you go back home, people are gonna laugh at you. So people are scared of that. But me, I know my talent. I don't care. If I go back home, naked robber like a jail, like a khoti, so it's not like I was suffering. Mm. I'm still fine. Even if I go back home, I know that my mother will make sure that I sleep, get le acha, get le happy. <laughs> so, but I'm really happy that this thing is happening right now because it's reality. Kids are dropping out of high school because they want to be like Fifi Cooper. Kids are dropping out of high school because they want to be like Questa and Empty. And I really look up to people like Questa because. 
they are independent but they're still making it mm. he has two buses right now he went overseas to sway where we all want to go mm. but he did it on yeah. his own you understand mm. so that's what i'm trying to say like even if i don't make me i don't make it because they're trying to block me everywhere mm. but it's sad because god runs the world i'm going to nigeria and uk and they can't block me that side so it's very difficult i understand but it's okay i just want cuz cuz i have a child mm. um every time i do this i'm imagining what if it was my son okay yeah that's why i'm doing it mm-hmm. if i suffer let it be uh fifi cooper is suffering because of his son it's okay i don't mind you know so, so so you're basically saying that ever since you've left the the, the record label mm-hmm. it's, it's actually been pretty pretty difficult in the sense that you've genuinely had an opponent a new opponent somebody mm-hmm. that you didn't know yeah. so there's deliberate blocking and it's 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 a battle that you have to fight yeah. while while you kind of push your brand yeah but i will i will always say this and i always say it in my interviews mm-hmm. the most um uh difficult thing that i go through it's a challenge mm-hmm. actually as a female rapper It's a male dominated genre so you have to work to us as hard but the truth is you work with males most of the times so they always want something in return oh wow you understand so if i don't give them what they want i have to suffer but i want to suffer for all these other kids that are coming up behind you mm-hmm. yeah so it's okay i would suffer mm-hmm. because ke go dile ka generation ya ya mandela he suffered for me 100% to be free and so, say what i want so for you the so family. let me suffer for the other kids mm-hmm. i will be mandela it's fine mm-hmm. So, oh, it's so you're basically saying that what you're doing is you're basically you're fighting for a legacy. You know yeah. so that when it mm-hmm. comes up after you mm-hmm. you have open doors mm-hmm. and you would have And I don't expect everybody to love my music. I know that Kerapa ka setswana, it's motswako. A lot of people don't understand that because we have 11 uh, languages in the country. So my thing is let me be me. Mm. I don't want to be Nicki Minaj. Mm-hmm. I want to be Fifi Cooper. Mm-hmm. You must remember me because I'm Fifi Cooper. Don't say, "Ah, that girl's that raps like Nicki Minaj." No. You don't want to rap like Nicki Minaj. <laughs> you know, I don't follow trends. Mm-hmm. I set trends. Mm-hmm. That's me. And I understand why people won't love me because but barata go sala mo ra go dotse diragalang. Mhm. What are like? Banyana ba repa ka mapona ba ratiwa because ba ntsetse di acha ko ntle. Na I know that they won't love me. Because I can see the Asha they always say I look like a lesbian it's okay. Mm. I will always say this, I look like this because I love the swag. I feel comfortable when I'm on stage looking like this. Mm-hmm. I do my best than going on stage naked. When I'm naked I'm not free. I can't because I know that people the only thing that they will remember when they go home is what they saw. What they saw. And not your music. But The reason why I'm here today is music. Let it be about music. What I wear, whether I go to interviews with old clothes that you've seen 10 times, it does nothing. It just shows you my hustle. Yeah. That's all I want. Mm-hmm. 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 And, and I think I think maybe you you you're coming from a very strong point in the sense, mm-hmm. in, the, in the sense. And I can only imagine that what you've been facing since you left Ambitious Records yeah. has kind of had to you've had to toughen up, right? Mm-hmm. Had to become mm-hmm. grow up but quicker. But I feel like everybody has to go through the situation. I get rona batho ba bantsi ro tla ka le tlalo. E ano ke nete, a re tla go tlao. Everybody wants to go through something difficult so that they can learn. Mm-hmm. It's like you can tell somebody something but it's up to him or her to decide. Mm-hmm. You can't decide for everybody. Mm. You can only decide for yourself. Yeah. I always speak the truth. Whoever wants to listen, it's up to her. It's up to him because it's his life. He came alone. He's going to die alone. 100%. That's why I always say that I will speak my mind. I will talk about my experiences. I will talk about what I went through. But it doesn't mean that you're going to go through it because I went through it. Our journeys are different. When God created you, he had a purpose for your life alone. I was not there. He had a purpose for my life alone. You were not there. Tap us here. So, it's just like it's up to you, but like you can be talented, but it doesn't mean that you can be a super mega. Mm. Mm. 
hundred percent. So as we wrap this up, because mm. we, uh, have, what we, is we, too do, soon. we do have to keep no it ways. Short. <laughs> <laughs> Just no ways. <laughs> Trans Africa, please invite me again. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely can and will do that. The time yeah. right now is five past seven. Any last words for I think any young girl who's mm-hmm. probably anywhere in the African continent? Yeah, because you're about to become an African thing, mm-hmm. a whole African thing. Okay. Um, and 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 you, what, what would you want to make sure that they know, um, especially if they are trying to come into the industry uh-huh. and are trying to pursue hip hop or rap? Yeah. Um, what I will say is, I'm definitely going to Nigeria. I'll be performing um, uh, this Friday. So it's a big thing But what I would say to young girls coming up Is that it's very difficult And I know you have to work twice as hard And stuff I always talk about that But the truth is um, God has a purpose for your life You need to be patient You don't have to rush for TV Because there's a lot of things that comes before TV you know, the reason why I wanted to open record label is because I've learned at a record label. That's why I don't regret living ambitious mm-hmm. because I learned mm-hmm. that period. That two years, I learned what road managers do, marketing, journalism, all that stuff. So everything happens for a reason. Mm-hmm. What I want to tell them is that be patient, pray about everything that you want and believe in God. Mm-hmm. Don't believe in whoever who sent you because he will sell you dreams. <laughs> That's why I released Power of Gold yes, because so money has it. power. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we are playing out with Power of Gold, but Fifi, before you go, uh-huh. um, Twitter handles, Facebook handles, if you want, people want to talk Yeah, because they blocked me, out. actually, I have to say it. Mm. Huh. Instagram. You can't go Buffet together. Why you so? So Instagram is ke underscore Fifi Cooper, mm-hmm. and then um, they jacked my Twitter. So at the moment I'm at Fifi Cooper fans, mm-hmm. and then um, Facebook. Yeah. Lawyers will tell you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, Vivi. And that is how we wrap this interview up. Um, the time right now is 7 minutes past 7 p.m. 30 Central African time. We are playing out with this in- well, this specific interview with <laughs> Vivi Cooper, Power of Gold. The whole time. This, this is Trans Africa Radio.